of the Holy Bible, how that God has sent forth his word into the earth that we may not be condemned but lead the pathway of life. The pathway of life is in God's holy scriptures. Here today for a few moments in Aberdeen, in this beautiful country of Scotland, we are faced with the enormous situation of bringing to people the good news of Jesus Christ. Today, people are so busy running here and there and everywhere, so busy with work, so busy with extra work, so busy with family, so busy. Amen, so busy. And yet God demands in his love that we take time out for him. We take time out for the Almighty. The Bible said that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That you and I, each and every one, has sinned and come short of the glory of God. What will we do about this sin? Amen. We have established that all of sin. Now why is that established so quickly without a debate, without a conference? Because the Bible said so in the book of Romans. The book of Romans simply states, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. But there is an answer to the sin question and we need to get that answer today and not be so busy not be running back and forward, not be pleasing self, not be living for all the pleasures of this world. We need to take a few minutes out and get the answer to the sin question. What is the answer to the sin question? The blood of Jesus Christ and no other. The blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible said that God so loved that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe should not perish, but have everlasting life. My, my, that's love, great love. For God, so love. That's what I call the so kind of love. And God loves you that way. He loves you and wants you to take a moment and slow down and think about the claims of the Bible. All have sinned and God saves. Both of those are in the Bible. All have sinned and God saves. How do you get saved? How do you get away from the sin question? By simply repenting and receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Right here, right now, in this little area, this shopping precinct, right here on Union Street, downtown, Aberdeen. Yes, my friend, you can settle the sin question in your life today. All of sin, all need to repent. Now repentance is the answer to the sin question. Repentance, meaning to come to God with a contrite and an open heart for conviction. Letting God convict you in whatever God says about you and your sin position accepting it. We have to accept what God says. He said it in his Bible that God so loved that he gave. Now Satan hates and he hates you and your family. He hates you and your children. And he wants to bring them to hell. It's heaven or hell my friend today. Now, we don't like to hear about hell, but it's in there alongside heaven. Yes, it is wonderful good news. And the gospel means good news, glad tidings. And the good news is that heaven is in the Bible. You may make heaven your final destiny when you die and pass over. You can get to heaven and on for the rest of eternity. But the other position is hell. Now, we don't like to hear about hell, but hell is inside the Bible alongside heaven. You can't listen to heaven and not listen to hell. So here is hell, Lucifer, the dragon, Satan, causing people to follow other gods, following after huge mansions and swimming pools, 
all after diamonds and riches that there is no satisfying in them. My friend, we need to slow down. If ever you've heard God, you're hearing him today. Slow down, slow down and take a moment and say, Jesus, help me. God, send me the right way. And that way today, friends, is the way of repentance, the way of Calvary's cross. Now, you have a decision to make today. I've made mine 42 years ago. I became a Christian. You have your decision to make today. Will you repent and turn from your sin and go the other way? Will you have a change of mind and a change of heart? Will you give over to God and not your flesh and self? Will you give your life to God today? This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. What will you do with the remainder of this day? Will you repent and turn from sin? Or will you give yourself over to complete possession of the devil? My friend, heaven and hell are real. I'd rather talk about heaven today. But hell is right alongside heaven in the scriptures. Hell that burneth with fire, the lake of brimstone, where the worm never dies, where it's torment, it's an evil place, it's dark, and a sinner man and the sinner woman goes there if they don't repent. But the man and woman that will believe God, the Bible said repent and believe the gospel. The man and woman that will believe God and repent will never see that awful, dark, aboding place they will see the streets of glory, the gates of pearl. They will see all the saints before them, the apostles, the prophets. They will see all of those in the glory of God in heaven. You could be in the heaven side and not the hell side. My friend, it's heaven or hell today. We need to make a decision. Are we going to go with Jesus or are we going to go with the devil? For God so loved that he gave us only begotten son. Now you say, I try my best. I do good works. I go to the nursing home. I help people. Good works will never earn it. You cannot earn salvation. It's a free gift. The Bible said in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, By grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. It is the gift of God. By grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. American grace is a man. gift. No, the faith thereof is a gift. You can't earn it. You can't buy it. It's a free gift. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Christ brings the free gift to the streets of Aberdeen. The Holy Spirit is here and convicted hearts. You know when you sin. You know when you do what's wrong. If you steal, you're a thief. If you lie, you're a liar. If you have fornication, you're a fornicator. The Bible said so. How many will agree today, if you lie, if you tell lies, how many will agree if you lie, you're a liar? How many would say if you commit adultery, you're an adulterer? How many would say if you steal your employer's goods and take them off the premises, how many would say you're a thief? So you see, we could be an adulterer, a thief and a liar, all in the one afternoon. And that's what you're admitting to, amen. How many know how many other sins there is? Only God and your conscience. When you lay down to sleep tonight, you know who you robbed. You know who you lied about. You know what you've done. Thank you, sir. It's a great gospel, hallelujah. The gospel to fix the sin. The gospel to take away the sin. And the gospel to restore sinners to sanity. Amen. 
to restore sinners to sanity, the sanity of living a holy life. Jesus said you must be holy. Yes, he said you must be holy. Holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. The book, amen, of Hebrews. Holiness without which no man, no exception, no one special. We all need to live holy, to come out of that pornography, to come out of that gambling and that crime, getting drunk and doing drugs. God said be holy. What do you all think about that today? God said be holy. And he gives us the power to get rid of the drugs and the alcohol. He gives us the power to get rid of the pornography. He gives us the power to stop stealing and lying and cheating and conniving. Christ has the power. Christ has the power to give to you to change your life. I know I was all of those aforementioned things. I did them all, and I don't do them today. The hands don't shake. I don't need a fix. Amen. He took care of all of that, that sin, and put it in the sea of forgetfulness. The Bible said if we'll come to him, he'd take our sin. Yes, and throw it as far as east is to west. He'll throw it away. And we won't remember it. Excuse me, sir. I'm preaching here a little bit. I'm not American, sir. I'm British. I'm British. Do you hear me? I'm the right to preach yeah. here today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God for the gospel that cleanses and fixes and separates us from the world. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Would you like to have a changed life? The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, behold, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Would you like your sin to pass away? Would you like to be a new creation, somebody different? Not think the way you think? Not talk the way you talk? Not act the way you act? To be free, a new creature? Well, if you repent, confess your sins to God, and ask Christ to come in right here today, right here, ask Christ to come in, cleanse my heart, wash me in the blood. There is only one way a man can be saved, the man Christ Jesus. It doesn't matter about all of the other religions. And fifth, the Bible said, the man Christ Jesus. You can be saved right now, today. The Bible again, all of sin, all need saved. There is only one name under heaven whereby a man must be saved. The man, Christ Jesus. Christ loves you and died for you. He hung on a cross at Calvary that you may miss this terrible place called hell. You must not go to that terrible place. You must not get there when you die. But you will be there if you don't have the cleansing power of Christ. It's heaven or hell today. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Christ knows your sins. Christ knows what you have to turn from. Don't be afraid. Don't be alarmed. Take yourself to God. Never mind what man said. Take yourself to God. Get your Bible at home and read it for yourself. Go home today and read your Bible in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 3. You must be born again. You must become a new creation. God bless you to find Christ. May Christ find you willing and open-hearted just now on the streets of Aberdeen. God bless you. Amen.